Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going through properties of Fourier transform. Guys, totally we have almost seven to eight properties which we are going to discuss. So, in this tutorial, let us go through linearity property, guys. So, linearity property. So, let us assume that when we try when we do Fourier transform for x1 of t, we'll be assuming the final result as x1 of omega. When we do for x2 of t, it is x2 of omega. So then a into x1 of t plus b into x2 of t, that Fourier transform is equals to a into x1 of omega plus b into x2 of omega. Guys, these things we have already discussed in mathematics and statistics, guys. So I'll be just dictating you so that it will be really clear for you. So we know that the Fourier transform of x of t is nothing but x1 of omega is equal to integral minus infinity infinity x1 of t e to the power of minus j omega t dt where x2 of omega is equals to integral minus infinity infinity x2 of t e to the power of minus j omega t dt Fourier transform of this whole part guys we'll be assuming this whole part as Fourier transform of f of t we'll be assuming this whole part as f of t so Fourier transform of a x1 of t plus b x2 of t is equals to a into Fourier transform of x1 of t plus b into Fourier transform of x2 of t. So Fourier transform of x1 of t is nothing but x of omega. That is nothing but integral minus infinity infinity x1 of t e to the power of minus j omega t dt plus b into Fourier transform of x2 of t is nothing but this integral minus infinity infinity x2 of t e to the power of minus j omega t dt. Right. So this whole part can be written as x1 of omega. This whole part can be written as x2 of omega. So hence we proved the linearity property of Fourier transform. Okay guys, so I hope everyone is now 100% clear with linearity property. So in the next tutorial, we'll be going through time shifting property. Thank you. Thanks for watching.